Back in the building. Back in the building, y'all. Hey, glory to God. Hey, um, so today's gonna be a little different. This video is gonna be a little different. Um, I came up off this one guy. His name is Folk Six Hundred. He's um he's on YouTube. He's a YouTuber, and um. He's he's on YouTube basically giving people the truth, but he's been doing this for so long. Like I didn't looked up videos. He got videos from nine years ago, so he's been doing this. Um, he's definitely in the truth. But get this, y'all. He the guy is is deaf. He can't hear, you know, and he makes these um these animation videos, you know, basically giving people sending people to the light, um, helping people get to the light and giving them the truth. But like man. His videos is so profound. This is crazy, man. Like, like giving giving clarity on the 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 spiritual realm. Like, it's 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 unbelievable, man. So I ain't gonna talk too much. I'm gonna just go ahead and get into the um, to the video. How to receive the Holy Spirit? It's gonna be a good one, guys. The Ruach Hakadosh in Hebrews terms. In spiritual realms, there is a door of the house of God. The sign says, receive the Holy Spirit. Two angels of God stood outside at this small place door. These people who just received Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. These wanted to receive the Holy Spirit, they prayed God for receiving the Holy Spirit, but their prayers were not answered. Hmm, I wonder why. We're gonna get into it. These one and y'all, um, just because it's a cartoon, yo, don't please don't look, <laughs> please don't look down on like it's very it's a very strong message in this in these videos that he make. All the videos that he make is strong is strong messages. So just because it's a cartoon, you know. Anyways. But no one dares to ask God, why did you not give your Holy Spirit? These were waiting patiently for opening the door to give them his Holy Spirit. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the dude over there. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, guys. <laughs> it's always somebody. Somebody with pride. I talk about pride a lot in my videos. Look at me. See, one thing about it, y'all. You can't force the Holy Spirit. You can't force it. Look, I'm knocking on the door. You can't force it. You know, when it's time, God will, he'll definitely, he'll let you know. And you, you will know when once you receive the Holy Spirit, you will know. Hey, I've been waiting patient. No, you haven't for God to answer my call. You ain't been waiting patiently enough. I don't understand why he doesn't reply. See his Holy Spirit. Look, he's calling him. He's not ready yet. As simple as that, he's just not ready yet. See, in, in order to, to receive the Holy Spirit, you can't be off of self. It's, it, this, it can't be a selfish thing. You have to be ready. You have to get rid of your pride. You have to get rid of your ego. You really have to cry out for God. If you want the Holy Spirit, you got to cry out for God. You got to, you got to, you know, you got to let go. But like, I don't understand it. Why he always oh, me waiting so long. My life won't be long. You got to be humble, man. New Christian who always hungry for seeking um, for the kingdom of God. See, he cried out for a relationship with God. See, you have to cry out. You have you have to really let go. God opened a door to give him his spirit right away. That man just received a power of the Holy Spirit of truth. Come on, man. Many Christians were, were so upset, confused, and disappointed in God. It's not like that. Never be upset with God. Those still didn't understand. Seek understanding then. Hey, I've been a Christian for 10 years. Why did God not give me his spirit? I am the veteran Christian so, um, soldier of God for many years. Some them push themselves to try receiving the Holy Spirit. So you can't force it, but God did not reply yet. Some Christian tried to break down the door. 
by yelling at the Lord. <laughs> that's, that's the last thing you want to do, guys. God already listened to these complaints, but he still refused. These did not know what they were doing at all. They definitely didn't. You, like I said, man, you, you this, it can't be forced, man. It really got to be in your heart. God knows. He knows where your heart is really at. You can't lie to God. You can lie to, you can lie to man all day all you want. You can't lie to God. He knows where your heart is at. Uh oh, it's about to start getting real, guys. This is real. This, hey, you come to us. This is how it really is. God so loves you. Look, these is the these are all the the, the religious spirits. God can accept you as you see. Mm. That's right. You don't have to receive the Holy Spirit. This how these how these religious groups are gonna do. They're gonna deceive you, man. Look, he's full. They, and they laughing. Either like the religious people, they don't know what they're doing, though. They they're deceived. They don't they don't know, you know what I'm saying? They don't and they don't they're not gonna talk like that, like he's full. They don't know that they're deceived. They don't even know. They're not speaking the truth. God allows you to live the Christian life by your own way. I'm sure the master will be pleased see. Yeah, like I said. They don't know that they're deceived. Hey, people. You can come be um, become a born-again Christian without the Holy Spirit coming to us. Because we can either... Yeah, see, <clears throat> a lot of people think they don't need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is your, is your power. Like, that's your sword. You know what I'm saying? The um the Bible, the word, the word of God, that's your shield. You need the Holy Spirit in this. This is a battle that we got going on right here. This is a real battle. People don't just because you can't see these demons, that's just because you can't see angels don't mean they're not real. This is real. Our Christians are deceived. <sighs> Many Christians gave up waiting for receiving the holy spirit <laughs> look see look at this one woman right here she just broke down once you break down and then just really just open up that's what it, that's what the power is These angels keep all Christians in. Yeah. Look at that. This woman remained praying for God. She dedicated. She decided to surrender her life to, um, to him. God saw her heart and he was pleased. That's what I was saying. God knows your heart, bro. Didn't I not just say that, guys? He knows your heart. My dear daughter, come to me. And he don't. He, it, it doesn't matter where you were. You know, it don't matter if you, if, yeah, you can, you know, if you sinned in the past, guess what? If, if you, if you repent of your sins, you ask for forgiveness of your sins, God will bring you back to him. At the end of the day, you're his child. Did you see that um, woman there? Yes, I saw. She went into the door. She just received the Holy Spirit of Christ. I knew. I saw her. Oh, yeah. He said, oh, yeah, I saw her. Oh, yeah. These new Christians who won't. Guys, there are two strangers waving at us. Oh, man, don't be deceived, man. Please don't be deceived. Hey, friends, come to us. This is how it is, man. We have the best Christian church. This is how it is. There is another house over there. Two funny men are waving at us. Don't be deceived, y'all. This is this is real. Don't be deceived, man. Do not be deceived. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that we have to be with a religion. Nowhere in the Bible. It's all about believing. Yes, friends. We saw many Christians have tried to receive the Holy Spirit. 
Man, this video is so real, man. It's a cartoon, man, but this, they have never received him yet. Why? Get into it. You about to get into it, ain't you? Ooh, getting into it. Therefore, God did not allow his spirit to dwell in them. Ooh. You must remember that. Be holy, for he is holy. Ooh. Yes, God so loves them. He wants to. He wants them to receive the Holy Spirit. He wants you to have the Holy Spirit. He wants you to have it. But he saw these Christians tried to hide in their sins, like a lot of people do. They thought God was blinded. You can't. Hey, you can lie. You can lie. You can lie to man all you want, like I say, but you can't lie to God. He knows your heart. He wants you to be. He knows your heart. And with your, um, all your strength, you must do his will. You definitely have to do his will. If you, when, Once you start doing his will, he'll definitely, you know, he'll give you. Open your hearts to him. You got to open your heart. Like I say, get rid, of your, get rid of your pride. Get rid of your ego. Let him seek your heart that you know and cry out for him. Like I said earlier, you got to cry out for him. Once you once you cry out for him and he knows, he knows where your heart is, you'll receive that Holy Spirit. You, you'll start receiving your gifts, you know. God sees your hearts that so pleases to him. God will surely open a door of his house to give his, you his Holy Spirit of Christ. Jesus says in John 20, 20, 20 22, receive the Holy Spirit. This is real, man. But um, I just want to go ahead and re reflect on what we just went over and what we just, you know, what we just read and looked at. Like, bro, the proof is in the pudding, man. Um, if you if you really want the love of God, if you really want to receive the Ruach Hakadosh, the Holy Spirit. You have to humble yourself in front of God. You have to humble yourself. It's okay. It's okay. God is not your enemy. Humble yourself in front of God. Humble yourself. Get rid of your pride and your ego. You got to get rid of your pride. And you have, you have to pray. You have to fully lay your life down for this. Like, this is really a war. You got to lay your life down. It, no matter what, you got to be ready to die for this. You got to be ready to die for it. It's not about you anymore. If you, if you really want to serve God, it's not about you anymore. You can't be selfish. You can't be selfish. Not about you anymore. And once you do receive the Holy Spirit, that's your power. You know what I'm saying? You once you receive the Holy Spirit, that's 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 God letting you know that you're you're appro you're approved. You're definitely self approved. You're now a warrior for God now. And 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 once you receive it, like you just you just walk with a with a a different stance, like you walk with your with your chest out, you walk with your head up, because you know who's behind you. <laughs> you know who's behind you now. You know what I'm saying? And then and then like you you'll definitely start to receive gifts once you once you receive the Holy Spirit. You'll start to receive gifts. You'll start to be able to judge things better. You'll start to even know when danger is coming your way. You'll just know. It's a, it's a, once you receive the Holy Spirit, a lot of things is just a knowing. Like you just get things. You know, you just get messages all the time. It's going to be happening all the time. Once you receive the Holy Spirit. So um, that's the video, though, y'all. I just wanted to um, give a little bit of clarity on the video and stuff like that and all that. But um, make sure. Oh, yeah. Make sure y'all definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button if y'all don't subscribe yet, man. You have to subscribe to this channel because we have a lot more heat coming. Uh, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that bell so y'all can get notifications when I drop these videos. But um, 
God bless, and I'll talk to y'all later.